Welcome everyone to another episode of the Journey Through Apostolic Succession. The Catechism of the Catholic Church 87 states, mindful of Christ's words to his apostles, he who hears you hears me, the faithful, receive with delicity the teachings and directives that their pastors give them in different forms. So today we hear about our 45th Pope in apostolic succession. St. Leo the Great, also known as Pope St. Leo I, his response to the call of the Lord transformed him into one of the greatest popes of Christian history. In fact, he was the first pope to be given the title, the Great. St. Leo the Great became a very well-known deacon of the church by 431, serving the church under the pontificate of Pope Celestine I. Some interesting facts about Pope Leo are Leo was widely respected for his love for the Lord, intelligence, and persuasive nature. He was also gifted in bringing reconciliation between disputing groups of Christians. Leo was then unanimously elected as the next Pope to succeed Pope Sixtus III in 440. Pope Leo is known as one of the best administrative popes of the ancient church. His swift election reflected the respect he had garnered among the people from his service to the Lord and his affection to the faithful. In 1754, Pope Benedict XIV proclaimed Leo I a doctor of the church. His contributions are, during his reign, he tirelessly fought to preserve the unity of the church and his faith and to ensure the safety of his people against invasions from armies which sought to destroy the church and the Christian influence on culture. Pope Leo I focused his pontificate on four main areas. He continuously worked to oppose and root out numerous heresies which were threatening the Western church. Among them, were Pelagianism and Manichaeism. Pope Leo I was a great defender of the Orthodox teaching of the Catholic Christian Church and protected the full deposit of faith. Leo resolved the doctrinal con controversy of question about Jesus' divinity with a letter setting down the Church's official teachings on Jesus Christ as one person with a human and a divine nature which could not be separated. Pope Leo the Great died on November 10th, 461. He wished to be buried as close as possible to St. Peter's tomb. His body was first laid in the entrance of St. Peter's Basilica, but was later moved inside the Basilica in 688. His feast day is celebrated on November 10th. That's all for today. Thank you all for listening and please stay tuned to our next episode. Please like, share, and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the church. <laughs>